Hi everyone and welcome back to this course where we learn Fusion 360 together. In this video, we are going to look at some more tools. Let me start a new sketch first. And first we're just gonna do the usual and I'm going to put a two point rectangular just to get a sketch in. I'm gonna click finish sketch for now. And the first thing I wanna show you is the extrude angle. We've used the extrude before where we just put in a value after we click extrude and that will extend or extrude from our sketch. But what I wanna show you in this video here is the extrude angle. So you can see here on this extrude property menu, there is the distance that we specify how much we wanna extrude by. In this case is 30 or we can do like 40. So that is the extrude, but what I want to show you is the extrude angle. So let's go back here and I'm going to just put in 30. And then here is the degree of the angle of the extrude. So you can see if I put in a positive value, I'm going to put 10 here. You can see my extrude goes out in an angle. But if I put negative, so if I make change this to a negative 10, you can see my extrude goes in. And uh, let me just increase this to negative 30. Let's see what happens. Now we have a pyramid. Well, very good. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, let me click OK here because this is going to help me show you the next tool that I want to point out, which is the difference between the extrude and the press and pull. So first, let's do an extrude on one of those pyramid faces. So let's do that. I'm going to click extrude and then choose one of my pyramid faces. You can see if I extrude this face, I expect, expect this face to just get pulled out. So here is what you expect to see with the extrude. And if I go in, then it will turn into a cut and start cutting into the body of the object. So that's what the extrude does. But sometimes you this can be confused with the press and pull. Let me click escape here and I, I will sh show you how the press and pull would work because this shape is very helpful to demo the difference. Um, I'm gonna do a press and pull and you can see here, it modifies, the, it modifies the selected geometry using offset, extrude, or fillet. So I'm gonna click that, depending on the, on the object shape, this might behave differently. So I'm gonna click press and pull. I'm gonna choose that same face. And in this case, if I do the press and pull here, you can see the behavior is different because it's kind of pulling the face in a way that is changing the entire uh, body or the object. So this is what, what I just want to demo the difference and press and pull can behave differently. Sometimes it can behave the same, but keep that in mind. Uh, the other one I wanna show you here is uh, this combined, which combines two bodies. But first, also I wanna show you how to mirror an entire object, then we're gonna combine those two objects using the combined. So let me just orbit around this and go this way so you can see better. Now I'm gonna go create and I'm gonna choose a mirror. You can see here, I can mirror the entire object. I can select it here and then I can select um, here, uh, I can select the uh, mirror plane. So let me actually do one more thing so you can see and I need to be able to see the bottom because I'm just gonna mirror it uh, based on the bottom base here. Uh, let's go ahead and do create mirror one more time. And then I'm gonna select the body and then I will select, this is the plane. So I'm gonna select that. And you can see here, I'm not gonna do join because I can do join these two, but I wanna use the combine tool to join. So I'm going to do a new body and click okay. And now if I go back to my orbit tool, you can see here, I have two separate bodies. I have the bottom one and the top one. And now we can use our combined to combine these two bodies together. So let me click combined. You can see here, I can choose the top body or I can choose the bottom one. They are two separate bodies. So I can select this one. Now it tells me to select the second one. I can select that and I can click okay. Now these entire thing is one body. So this is what the combined does. And now I can orbit around this. And let me show you here, if I click combine, I, I the whole thing gets selected at once. So the whole thing is a single body. Uh, see, these are a couple of tools I wanted to show in this lecture. Uh, I'll leave it there for this one. And I hope to see you in the next one.
Thank you for watching.